Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Excalibur Roundtable Extended Tech Talk. I'm joined today by one of my favorite people, Tom Petley from Halo <laughs> ITSM. Tom, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> uh, and so one of the things we wanted to talk about today um, is uh, to take, we want to take a brief look at the project management um, solution that's available in Halo ITSM. And I want to kind of preface this, we're, we're into the, the enterprise service management space. Um, we're not saying that the Halo uh, ITSM project management module, it, it would replace Microsoft Project. But what we find so often for customers, because um, you know, if, if customer talks to Gartner, Gartner will say, well, point solutions, uh, things that are purpose built for a particular um, uh, a particular uh, process might be a better solution. Uh, what we find for many customers is their needs, though, are pretty basic, or maybe they're just starting their PMO, um, or maybe they're just getting into a technology stack for their PMO. And we think we've got a great solution to help you get started, and you may outgrow um, what the solution is, and that's okay. But the solution is included in part of your Halo license, um, so it's something that you can leverage. One of the cool things, though, is is um, you know Kanban boards are always something that people ask us about, and so Tom's going to share Kanban boards with you, um, and uh, you know what it is um, within the overall uh, you know project solution. But Kanban boards are also available throughout Halo if it's something you wanted to use visually to manage your thing. So, Tom, I'm going to turn it over to you. And... <laughs> Sounds good. Let me share my screen. Hopefully you can see my screen okay there. Um, yeah, so as you said at the start, it's um, projects, organizations will have project management tools. There'll be, um, yeah, like say Microsoft Project or whatever it might be that's used internally. Um, but often they can be kind of very complicated or they can not integrate with the ITSM platform or the service management platform. And also, yeah, it can be disjointed and just yeah, not the right fit for the, the purpose. Um, so what we find, we, we basically designed the, the project management area um, within Halo because we had so much demand for people initially in the IT space. So kind of IT, small IT projects, large IT projects. Um, deployment of new applications. I've got a server decommission here as an example. It could even be a site decommissioning, decommissioning a whole um, office or location. Um, it's those kind of projects that they need to be project managed um, and they need to be project managed somewhere. <laughs> it could be in a project management system, um, but it actually makes more sense to put it into the ITSM platform um, because you get to time with all the other data you get to provide, which I'll come on to in a second, visibility on the self-service portal. So you can actually provide visibility to users of what projects are taking place. And also managing it within the kind of the tasks and the Kanban view I've got here, which I'm going to show you. Um, so within here, we've just got a project called, in this example, server decommission. But down the left-hand side, you can have all your projects here. Kind of count down on the left-hand side how many tasks you've got open still. Um, and basically, there's lots of configuration options on how you display it. And you'll see underneath here, we also have the different views that you've got. So in this case, I'm just uh, looking at the Kanban view, but we have got kind of Gantt views or calendar views if you prefer to work from them. And the nice thing is you can you can basically build out all these tasks. So you can either create tasks kind of ad hoc as you go through it, or if it is something that happens lots of times, maybe a server decommission is quite a good example, you could actually template that. So you can have all those tasks creating when they need to, and they could even be in parallel or in series or however you you kind of want to set that up. Um, with each task, you'll see here we've got different states that we can we can track in here. So kind of new, in progress, closed, very very standard uh, Kanban um, setup. But you can have additional states in there if you want to as well. Um, with kind of traditional functionality, you can drag and drop to kind of move that onto different stages. Or each of these are actually they're actually kind of a, a task in their own right. So I can click into one. And I can actually see that task. Um, just wait for that to load in a new tab. Um, I can actually go into here and see all the information for this specific task and all the information here. You'll see who it's assigned to and all that kind of good stuff and the dates and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you're basically keeping an audit trail of everything that goes on. And as it's within the ITSM solution, you can then um, kind of transfer that visibility to anyone that you want to give the role to, to be able to access it. Just another interesting thing that um, 
is part of project management tools, but it's quite an advanced feature, really. Um, not all kind of basic project management tools even offer this functionality, which is budgeting. Um, so as part of a project, and you'll see here we've got our different stages, um, but we can actually assign budgets to them as well. So if you are managing a kind of a larger project, um, you might want to associate, we've got here a project management budget, technical support, consultancy, you can define your own budgets. And then each task can basically count down time out of that budget and you can schedule time using the calendar functionality and the, kind of the meetings functionality. So there's loads and loads of really, really kind of powerful functionality, which um, you know, at the start, maybe we undersold it a little bit as um, something that's um, kind of more simple. It, it is a simple projecting tool, um, but at the same time, it's got a lot of, um, kind of advanced functionality, which um, kind of allows you to really manage projects um, to a really kind of high level. So it's it's letting you letting you with the additional functionality, and I know you know what we talked about before we kind of started started doing this recording is, is this will probably be a multi part series to get into all of the functionality that's available there for projects. As one of the things that I kind of prefaced in the very beginning. Um, what we find so often is for customers, um, one of the challenges is is that um, uh, you you don't have you, you, the the needs uh, of the customer are just a fraction of the functionality of a gigantic tool that's super expensive and complicated to use. Um, and what you guys have done at Halo and what you continue to do as these things evolve and customer needs come up is to add the most common and most useful functionality um, to the different process areas. You know, so we've got budgeting in here, which a lot of, uh, of, of, of ESM tool sets um, that you know may be available for other vendors may not have a budgeting function to them. Um, some of them they can do Kanban, they can't do Kanban. Um, you know, Gantt views may not be something they have the ability to do. Uh, and uh, you, you know, it's one of the things I've loved working with you guys and watching the innovation over time. There'll be these new features and functions that'll be added to the system because you know a customer needed it. There was a way to build it, and it's something that everybody could benefit from. Um, and, it, it, and, and if, the, if it's something you don't need, you can turn it off. You don't have to have budgets if you don't want budgets. It's one of the things that's so unique about Halo in many cases is you can uh, use the pieces that you need, hide the pieces that are not needed, um, uh, so that, that that people aren't wondering, well, am I supposed to put stuff in here? That's always the you know kind of the user that usability. Uh, 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 you know, sort of, sort of process to it. So it's, it's exciting um, when we see, you know, and, and we'll get into in a future video showing Kanban boards for almost any process area, incidents and service requests or changes. Um, you know, so for organizations where that sort of view, that sort of interface works better um, for their workflow, you know, Halo didn't say, oh, let's do Kanban boards for project, and that's only where it is. They said, well, let's make it available to everything if somebody wants to be able to view it in that way. Um, and it, 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 it makes it so interesting because, you know, what, what, when we do these demos for customers, and they're like, well, we would like to, and Tom will drop that down and go, oh, uh, you mean like this? <laughs> And, and they're like, holy cow, like, okay, well, is that an add-on? No, mm. this is all part of the core system. It's one of those, like, Kanbans is, if you, I don't know, if you, it's not a traditional service management. Mm -hmm. If you, if you kind of eye if you follow the, um, you're not going to, Kanban won't be mentioned, I think. <laughs> um, and there's traditionally, like, a, they say ITIL and Agile don't go together. Um, but there are certain crossovers where kind of features like a Kanban board, actually, it really does enhance the, the process and there is a use for it. And change is actually a really good example you gave um, because that visibility, it, yeah, a Kanban is a really, really good use case for that. Just seeing them in different stages, um, different kind of planned stages, even all the way through to kind of PIR and closure you've got. Well, I, I look at it, you know, from, from one of the trickiest stages for a lot of customers um, is that cab approval, right? Being able to talk through them and through a Kanban board, drag them over as cab approved yeah. as part of that. Because we're moving it, 
-hmm. behind the scenes within Halo, it's handling all of the other auditable uh, events that need to occur. You don't have to click a button to do it. You could. We can do that in the traditional view. We could have our button to go ahead and do cab approval, or we could do it through a uh, Kanban process. And so it gives customers that flexibility to operate in a manner that they have. And it's, and it's interesting, Tom, you kind of bring that up. You know, with ITIL 4, agile processes, um, uh, uh, you know, K Kanban not necessarily being mentioned specifically, but as we try to evolve, as organizations, these things are now starting to all come together and coalesce um, to be the way that we want to be able to drive some of our processes. Uh, the challenge is, is that for many platforms, it's just not a feature or function or a view that's been built in. And here with Halo, it's a function and a feature that's already there, already available for us to leverage. Um, and uh, it makes it pretty exciting. So stay tuned. Tom and I will be doing uh, uh, another parts on the the, 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 the project uh, uh, process within Halo to get into uh, many of the, the neat features that are there. Tom, thanks for helping me wet everybody's whistle and get everybody <laughs> excited. It's always great to get with you. Brilliant. Thanks for having me again, Mike. And for all of those out there watching, uh, we'd love to show you some of these things within Halo. You want to see incidents in a Kanban board? Uh, let's get together. Let's do a demo for you. Uh, and we'll, uh, Excalibur and the Halo team will show you how we can bring the power of Halo ITSM to your organization. Feel free to hit, our, hit the Excalibur website. Um, you can sign up for your free, fully functional 30-day trial of Halo ITSM and go and play with it yourself. Uh, but we look forward to being able to talk to you and how we can bring the Halo power of Halo to your organization. If to everyone out there, we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone.